Hey, this is Christian Buckley doing another MVP Buzz Chat interview, and I'm talking today with with Daniel. Hello. Hey, Christian. How are you? I'm doing well. Why don't you introduce yourself and where you are and and uh, and rub it in about your great weather compared to what we're experiencing here? Well, yes. Uh, well, hello, everybody. Thanks. First of all, thanks for having me on. Um, yeah. I've been uh, look consuming your content and, and looking at, at what you do for, for quite some time. So it's... Uh, um, I'll say an honor to be talking to you uh, oh, well, in this thanks. in this capacity. Um, as you said, yes, my name's uh, Daniel. I am coming to you currently from from Melbourne, Australia uh, in our summer. Well, we haven't we haven't really had much of a summer. Um, but look, it's it's probably better than than where you are at the moment. Uh, currently, what is it? The time of recording 9:30 a.m. It's around sort of 20, 25 degrees. So we can't can't complain. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So where, where do you work? What do you do? Currently I am a uh, working at Valo solutions um, as a, as a partner manager and, and product evangelist there. Uh, so recently joined the, the Valo team the, for the APAC region um, after being involved in a, a number of uh, Microsoft partners uh, delivering solutions um, through Office 365, Microsoft 365 um, in that capacity. But now, yeah, heading, uh, heading up the, the Valo APAC team. That's very exciting. Well, and, and congrats again on your brand new Office Apps and Services MVP. Yeah, thanks. Thanks very much. As we were chatting just before we, we started recording, well, not uh, not really something that that I set out to uh, to achieve. But as as you as you'd know, it, it tends to to, to come around um, if you're, you know, uh, I guess making an impact and, and sharing a lot of information and and uh, helping people out in the community. Um, that does get recognised, and it's um, it's nice to be nice to be recognised. And um, yeah, hopefully that's uh, that will continue. I mean, it's it's not something that you. You, you stop doing. I've got a. Um, yeah. Now you know, that you've the, the achieved, feedback. it's the penultimate yeah. award. That's just like just this stop. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. If anything, it it, it makes you want to want to do more. I mean, it, it's uh, the the feedback you get, the comments, and and the things that um, you know, the little things that that help people along the way. Um, that we tend to, and and I'm sure you find it in, in what you do as as well. Um, we kind of tend to take things for granted a little bit, how easy things for us could potentially be. But for a, a lot of people, it's, um, you know, they don't know a lot of things. And there's a lot of things to, to learn and, and know and use in, in uh, Office or Microsoft 365 that, um, that needs to be put out there to, to help people. Well, it's one of my favorite things to go and do. And, uh, you know, as you know, I mean, I, I've been doing like uh, for the last year, like office hours type things, but yeah. I, um, Staying connected in and, and and hearing and trying to find answers for customer questions, because to your point, I mean, we we get kind of uh, uh, blind and deaf to certain kinds of issues because we say, well, hey, we've worked through that, or that's like a problem that we solved a couple of years ago, and yet mm. people that are brand new in the technology are just coming through that learning cycle and they have those questions again. So what's old for us is new to someone else, and and so if we can help, and then there's always you know, no matter how well that you think you've solved the problem or Microsoft has solved the problem, uh, you know, business changes, requirements change and uh, people's approach and they bring their backgrounds to solving these collaborative problems and they find new and interesting way to break things. <laughs> yeah, they do indeed. And it's funny, I mean, there is, there's obviously so, uh, you know, amazing features and, and functionality rolling out all the time with, with Microsoft and, uh, you know, Viva, the, the latest, uh, obviously the latest hot topic, but, you know, a, a lot of times even large-ish organizations are not even at that point and they're still um you know in, in terms of their their adoption of platforms and you know we've probably gone a little bit past you know just using office 365 as as uh it, with email but you know the, the, while there is all the bells and whistles and uh everything that that is improving um whether it be employee experience or the way we we communicate or meet 
um, it's interesting to see where in reality, where, where a lot of individuals and, and businesses are at as well. Well, one of the things you're probably aware of is, and I've been talking with people about it, uh, that so back years ago, you had uh, the SharePoint maturity model that was developed by then a consultant. Mm. She went on Sadie Van Buren, went and joined Microsoft and has since left. Um, but uh, you, you have an effort, a community effort that driven by uh, Mark Anderson and a few others that, that were uh, developing the content around the Microsoft 365 maturity model. But the idea is that, look, everybody is uh, using, finding you know, value in different workloads, different you know, uh, uh, combinations of the technology, of course, because different businesses, different uh, verticals have different needs. Um, but it's, it's great to go in, it's a healthy exercise to go and understand, well, you know, across these various industries, here's kind of where we are, here's a baseline for, uh, for our adoption here. And then, and then to see, well, if we were, you know, in a, like a CMM level, like five levels there, we're at number two in, uh, in our information management. What does it mean to move to three and to four? And likewise, in our collaboration, in our so if you think of it, like workloads, like our SharePoint usage, our Teams usage, our OneDrive usage, and there's no right or wrong answers. But it, what's great to see about that kind of model is just based on you know the averages of of other users out there. What else could we be doing? And it might be mm -hmm. that hey, level three, we never need to move to four or five. Level three is right where we need to be. It's meeting our needs. Uh, but yeah. I you know, going through that, it's just part of, you know, operational improvement of going through and, you know, continually looking and reviewing and what can we do to get our people collaborating more and in better ways and better leveraging in the content we have. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It is. Um, and it'd be interesting. Yeah. Look, interesting to see where, um, you know, this, this whole em employee experience um, model or, applications or modules or whatever you want to call it, how that's, uh, how that gets taken up as well. Um, obviously yeah. it's a, you know, employee experiences is, is, is a big thing in, in the adoption side of it. Um, but you know, it'll be, be interesting to see. Yeah. I'd be interested in your perspective. I don't know if there's an official like company line on, on that, but given that you, you have a, a lot of the, you know, the, the intranet in the box providers, but yet like Valo that have, gone and, and have been focused all about the employee experience. I mean, that that's really mm. where that whole category of solutions started was that the out of the box SharePoint experience was not sufficient. Your organizations mm. were not adapt, uh, ad adopting that. Um, and so make it you know good looking on the front end and functional for what organizations, collaborative organizations need and are using. And you added on, you did all these things. So something for Microsoft to go and approach with their you know, experience, employee experience um, platform approach. I mean, so what kind of what's, what's yeah. the official position? Yeah, well, I mean, it's still still fairly, uh, fairly vague in a lot of the detailed information that-, that What, um, Microsoft that marketing is vague in a new release and- Well, now, look, it, 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 it looks yeah. it looks very nice and, and uh, all the marketing is 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 very good. Um, but obviously, you know, with, um, I, I guess, intranet in a box type of, of solutions or that type of thing. I mean, obviously connections is, is going to be one that, um, is going to be fairly close to, to that type of thing. Um, so it'll be, be int interesting to see how, um, you know, what gaps are there and, and how, you know, uh, companies like Valo can, can extend on that type of functionality or, you know, I, I guess we saw a fairly similar situation when SharePoint Modern came out as well. I mean, the brand whiz bang new modern, there's, I mean, there's still, there's still a, a space for for extending and, and improving yep. and adding functionality and, and that type of thing as well. So um, I think it's, it's going to open up a lot of opportunities as well um, by by being able to to either extend or combine or, or integrate with. Yeah, it's well, and, and not meaning to put you on the spot you know, about that because it's, it's true for every ISV in every category, mm. my, my, as you know, I mean, Microsoft will go and, 
and, uh, and make a big buzz and talk about the broader space where they're, what they're talking about might be limited Something capability, yeah. a subset of that, of what the partner is doing. And then of course it causes a lot of, you know, customers or prospects out there to be like, well, wait a second, isn't this the exact same thing of what your mm. you ISV are doing? And, and uh, it, there are just certain realities is that there's one, you have to cut through the marketing. Um, and this is true with every OEM. It's not just a Microsoft yeah. thing. Um, and, and really truly understand what your business requirements are, where you were focused there. The second thing is anything new takes time mm. um, to be fully realized in the first place. It's not like you're adding a feature to an existing product when you're uh, you know, launching an entirely new product or product area. Um, and so there's work that needs to be done and, and that shouldn't stop your movement forward. If you're about to buy a solution and then there's an announcement made. That's like a year, year and a half of until it gets to the place where yeah. you know could could even possibly reach you know that that level. But um, yeah, it, it's an interesting space. I personally, I just think it's exciting that uh, the maturity of the platform of Microsoft 365 itself is getting to the point where we're no longer talking about uh, turning servers on. You know, back in the on-prem mm -hmm. days. And just keeping the lights on uh, on on the service, where we can now really focus in, and, and we've got a lot most of the core functionality um, fairly robust. Where we can now talk about what are we actually doing with the technology that we've been deploying? How are people using it? How can we use it better? How can we be looking at the data around how we're collaborating and improve the way that we're working together? I mean that. That's just a, an entirely new thing. That's very exciting. It is, and I, I think that's that's becoming um, almost uh, uh, the, the first thing that that organisations start to talk about. I want to talk about is is that that end, well, first of all, that end result, but the data to to show whether it's the adoption or or you know simple example of how many less all company emails people are sending, and we're now chatting in a in a you know communicating in a different way and you know we're saving x amount of time trying to find stuff or you know topics is a it was well, an interesting one for me around um you know most a lot of organizations have a lot of information and and seeing how we you know that type of functionality can potentially save people so much time in in finding finding information but also skills and and that that side of it as well um i guess fairly it could be could be hard to measure but it um it's you know it's it's an interesting area for sure did you have any clients that were part of the beta were you involved no at all? no no uh, i haven't no neither, neither have i i've talked to a couple folks that have were in when they're in the program yeah. yeah in my around the topic specifically like it, it's exciting to see uh, you know there's been different variations that they've been attempted uh, mm. you know, again and again, uh, over the, the, the past 20 years, um, that I've really been kind of looking at the space. And so I'm interested to see what the, the curation experience is like yeah. and what's actually involved to make it work. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, it, it's a pretty exciting space. The, the, what Microsoft is doing around content services in general, it's, it's very exciting. Mm, it is definitely, but we'll have, um, you know, with, those other modules, um, you know, it, it'll all depend on whether there's going to be, you know, the, the uptake of that is, you know, licensing price tags, you know, topics as we see five, five bucks a user. Um, so yeah, it'll be, be interesting to see how, how that model works. Yep. Well, what else, what else is kind of, uh, your, your focus these days? What are you, what are you presenting on? I know that you're, you're active, like uh, a, a lot of MVPs and online events that are happening, any in-person events that are being scheduled that you're down in your neck of the woods. Uh, not right. They are being planned. Um, so in Australia, we're obviously, um, with the current COVID situation, we're starting to, to, to open up quite a lot now where we're able to, um, host limited uh, in-person events. So hopefully in the next, in the coming months, there'll be, uh, there'll be some of those, um, you know, been lucky enough to be able to actually go and see some of our partners in person over the last, last couple of weeks, which has been good. Um, although we can 
do all of this virtually. It, it's still important to, to, to see people face to face. Um, but in, in terms of um, areas that, 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 we're, that I'm focusing on or looking at as well, in, um, you know, presenting a lot or, or talking a lot and um, whether it's videos or, or whatever the, the content is, um, I'm really big on, on Microsoft lists at the moment. I think they oh, add yeah. a, a lot of value um, and uh, I guess making people aware of, of what they can do, what they're used for and, and that, that side of it. I'm a fan um, of the, the adoption guide that was just created. Yeah, that's, that's there. fantastic. It's a great yeah. resource. Yep. It is. Um, so those type of, um, those type of, of practical areas of, of, of 365 that I, I think, uh, that, that add a lot of value to, to those end users uh, is, is something that's, that's, that's a big focus of mine. That was very cool. Well, hopefully, uh, yeah, it was, was supposed to be down your way once last year that that right. didn't happen. Uh, but uh, I, I'm hoping to, uh, to, to get down there for once the events start back up. So it's, it's been, I was on a pretty regular for the last 10 years, almost at least one trip a year down that way those conferences are some of my uh, favorites uh work yeah with Debbie, used to Debbie and team Debbie and, yeah. Debbie Art, yeah right yes yeah I'm, I'm, some um, of the user group activities as well and uh yeah, yeah but yeah yeah well I think uh, I think um well, well Debbie's yeah still planning on well potentially hopefully um the the in-person event this year um so we'll see how that plays out yeah we're, whether we're, whether you're allowed whether uh, yeah, Whether internationals can, yeah. can fly I, I, in, I, I don't know. I'm thinking that part, uh, you know, you, you guys are too good at the uh, the contact tracing. You guys have that part down. So it might be a little bit longer before you allow internationals in. But again, we're, we're also just, we're now planning for end of August, our first in-person, what was our SharePoint Saturday event of doing something uh, like a hybrid version of that. Uh, so we're yeah. hoping that we, uh, you know, things start to get back to, normal uh, <laughs> normal later this year or so well daniel really no, appreciate good. your time for people that want to find out more about you get in contact what are the best ways they can reach you uh probably linkedin is the uh the, the main place where I'm, I'm posting a lot of content in the moment so just uh jump on there search for, for daniel anderson you'll you'll find me there um and also uh the blog as well so sharepointfocus.com um and there are two two main main places Excellent. Well, hey, thanks a lot for, for connecting and uh, we'll, I know we'll let you get back to your Tuesday and I've got my next meeting rolling up as well, but we'll talk to you soon. Very good. Thanks for having me on the kitchen. Wow.